just kind of leaning on that reality. Um, definitely never want to be a fun sucker. That is not me. That is not Aaron. Um, so, um, yeah, I think I think Peter kind of allowed space for that to happen, too. Hi, Lex. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. I had so much fun with Ricky Stanicki. <laughs> um, I I really like uh, Aaron and Dean's relationship. It seems, you know, so loving and open. And yet it is bewildering that he is keeping this huge secret from her. Yeah. Um, can you talk about uh, the relationship at the start of the movie from your perspective? At the start of the movie, um, obviously they're they're deeply in love with um, with each other, their dog, um, <laughs> Dean points out. And, um, it's, you know, it's a very supportive relationship. He wants the world for her and her journalism uh, journey. And um, so we see a little bit of a hint of that in the beginning when she's talking about applying for this new position. And it's all very supportive. And, and on the flip side, she's supportive of him. She knows she care- he cares about Ricky. And he just got this horrible news about his cancer returning. And she wants him to be there no matter what the sacrifice is you know, with them or what they had planned for the day. She really wants him to be there for Ricky because he's been there for Dean forever. You and Zach have a really nice chemistry on screen. What was the dynamic like off screen and building the relationship together with him as a scene partner? Zach is fantastic. Um, I, we, it's so sad when you get to travel and build and shoot these movies and it's not that much time, but mm. it's you fall in love with your, with your scene partners and with your cast. And we just, built the best bond, um, all of us, um, all the guys and Anya. And it just, we had such a good time. We filmed this in Australia. So it's kind of like camp, you know, all we had was each other. We didn't know anyone else. And Zach and I hit it off from the moment we met each other and we just had a great time and talked about life and talked about acting and things that he's learned. And I've learned so much about the art form through him and seeing his passion for it, even though we're making a comedy He's so passionate about the work and I respect that a lot. I come from dramatic acting. um, And so it was nice to to feel that even with a comedy, like he really, he genuinely cares about character arc and story and and all of these things that you didn't think, you know, would matter on a, a comedic set. But he's fantastic, extremely encouraging, always patted me on the back when he liked a take or felt something worked really well. Like I would, I would work with Zach a million times again. Speaking of, you know, the fact that it's comedy and uh, the fact that Aaron is actually very supportive, you know, like oftentimes this kind of role could be relegated to like, oh, the fun sucker, I guess, you know what I mean? Like yeah. sucking the fun out of the comedy. But instead, Aaron um, really, you know, wants to be there, wants to be involved and they are the ones not letting her. How do you kind of like walk that line with like as an actor and then also with help from Peter Farrelly? I want to play truthful to the circumstances and and you want your partner to have their friends you you encourage that I mean not everyone but for me I can speak personally like I, I encourage friendship with my partner and and he encourages it with me and so I think that's a lot of what we see with with Dean and Aaron um she didn't mind that he has boy time and, and then there were times where they were all together and it was a great time and she, they went bowling and they they have all these events that they do throughout the film um where it, where it does work together where the where the partners of the friends can come together. And so just kind of leaning on that reality. Um, definitely never want to be a fun sucker. That is not me. That is not Aaron. Um, so um, yeah, I think I think Peter kind of allowed space for that to happen too. Did you in your childhood have a Ricky Stanicki equivalent? What kind of mischief did you make? I'm an only child. So I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't have an imaginary friend or two, you know. So yes, I definitely had an imaginary friend um, and, and got into a lot of mischief as I got older. I think my middle school and like ninth grade, I started to dabble in getting into trouble. But at that point, I had real friends. Um, they weren't imaginary. I was getting in trouble with the real friends. Real friends are the ones to get in trouble with. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I had a great time with the movie and you were fabulous in it as well. I appreciate that. <laughs>